Today, I'm taking you guys on an epic off-road adventure. All right, guys, so today we are at Colmont Off-Road Park here in Tennessee. It is a freshly open park. I've been here a few times whenever it was actually not open yet, so I'm not too familiar with the trails, but I'm excited to see what they've got. Now, we're going to be testing out some of the recent changes we've done to the Rubicon 392. We're going to be testing out things like the clearance in the rear now that we've cut the fenders. Also, the clearance since we've cut a little bit off of the tub. Aside from that, we're going to be testing out the open road 13,000 pound wireless winch, and if we find anybody that's stuck, maybe we'll test out that kinetic recovery rope too and for those of you that haven't been to the colmont off-road park i hope this video gives you a good idea of what kind of trails are here so to set the parameters for this trip i'm actually going to try to get stuck a little bit so we can use that winch i want to really test it out and see what it is capable of so for that we're not going to be using the lockers front or rear and we're also going to be running the tire pressure at street pressure of 32 pounds so i'm not airing down i'm not doing anything so if we get in a sticky situation hopefully we can use that to get us out
gonna lie to you guys, I was hoping this spot right here, the angles of the rocks and everything is pretty difficult. So I was hoping without lockers, we wouldn't be able to make it up, but it looks like we're definitely getting traction. But regardless, we've got a perfectly placed tree right there. I wanna test out this winch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna leave the Jeep and just drive, give it no gas, hook up that winch and see if it'll pull us over. Now, of course, this does have the wireless winch, and for some strange reason, I just wanna know how far it goes. So, still working. Still working. Hopefully you guys can hear that. It's still working from this far away. I'm not gonna go any farther because I don't know why you'd wanna use it further away, but it does work from an extremely long distance, which is extremely convenient. sure what trail we're on anymore but it is muddy and it's getting totter and totter screenshot of the map before I left the house this morning but I still don't know where I'm at so right now I'm on like trail 31 just came off one of the black trails and don't really know where I'm at I looked at the map it's kind of confusing so if you're out here in a vehicle that you can't necessarily depend on 
I would probably bring a friend. There are a lot of trails here. There's about 40 miles. So it's enough to get kind of mixed up in. And really and truly, you probably should have a friend out here. Um, or you can have a winch. But a winch can only take you so far if you have like a catastrophic failure. So keep that in mind. This trail is definitely made for friends. I can show you guys some of those more technical trails I'm just not able to record them myself recording the stuff that I do is hard enough but I hope that gives you guys a good idea of some of the trails they have available here at Colmont off-road park there are a lot of different options and for pretty much every rider now I'm gonna drop this thing about an hour and a half home at about 90 miles an hour you can't beat it it's the best of both worlds if you guys haven't already please like comment subscribe let me know what you think let me know what you want to see next but until next time Godspeed